Hi, welcome back to Live Lean TV. I'm Jessica Guthrie. I'm gonna lead you through an inner thigh toning follow along 10 minute workout. So grab two towels to slide on the floor and let's do it. Today we're gonna to do an inner thigh targeted workout using very minimal equipment. All you're gonna need is two little rags. In the second round, I'm gonna add dumbbells to show you how you could add weight to this if you wanna make it more challenging. If you don't have weights to work with, just follow the first round and then do the same thing again on the second round. We're gonna do the entire workout on the clock. It's gonna be a 10 minute workout, 40 seconds of work per exercise and 20 second rest periods. Okay, drop two rags on the floor. I'm gonna help you clean your floor and tone your inner thighs at the same time. You're gonna step on those towels you can also do this in socks or if you're on a carpet use two paper plates so the first exercise is going to be slide and drag slide and drag okay I'm starting the clock and just follow my lead workout begins now so as you drag I want you to really press down into the floor to get some good friction and tension and that's how you're gonna feel your inner thighs flexing and then even press your feet together on each side. So press the insides of your feet together and keep a slight bend in your knees the entire time. So not a squat, but just a little bit of a bend at the hips and the knees. All right, keep going. Let's speed up a little bit. Slide and drag. Just get as many as you can in 40 seconds. Okay, 20 second rest period. You just throw those towels off to the side. The next one, we're gonna go into a ultra wide stance. Toes still pointed forward, knees pointed forward. And we're gonna do side to side samurai, like just sliding from one side to the other. So staying low for the entire 40 seconds. So get low to the right, slide to the other side, slide back. So just stay low in that squatted position and just work on straightening one leg and then straighten the other. Make sure that your torso stays upright, core tight, head and chest up. Don't round your back. Just keep sliding side to side. Keep going. Okay, come on up and shake it out. So next exercise, we're gonna be in a sumo squatted position and do calf raises. So you're gonna be popping your heels off the ground, but in a low squat. Make sure that you're wide enough so that your knees form 90 degree angles. If you're too close together, it won't work. So get nice and wide, get down, and here we go. Pop the heels, pop. Stay low. Again, torso upright, head and chest up. Core tight. You can play around with alternating one and the other, or just keep doing both at the same time. Okay, good, come on up. The burn is real. So for the last two exercises, we're just gonna do one side for 40 seconds and then the other side for the next 40 seconds. Go in and grab one of your towels to put your hands on, or one hand on rather, and get into a side plank position and put your top foot down on the ground. Bottom knee is gonna lift to match the top one. So just tap the floor, then tap your knee. Tap and tap. So push down into the ground really hard with that top leg. Try to meet those two knees together. Keep your hips straight. Whew. If your towel slides out that way, then bring it back. So it's right under your shoulder. Okay. Other one, that is harder than it looks for sure. So flip to the other side and get into your side plank. Again, make sure the shoulder is directly over that hand. Get into that straight plank so the hips aren't back here, but they're forward. Go 40 seconds.
core super tight. Your foot can either be flat like this, or I like to have the sole of my foot down on the ground. Either way works. And you can do this barefoot if you want. Shoes are optional, but I always like to have shoes on when I train. Okay, so that was it for the first round. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my dumbbells, and I'll show you how you can make this more challenging by adding some weight if you have it. Okay, so starting with those drags, I want you to hold the dumbbells right at your hips. Slide and drag. You could also add ankle weights. Remember to put that tension down into the ground as you're dragging. Make it harder by really pushing and dragging. Squeeze your feet together. And then you can speed it up to make it even harder. Okay, so put the rags off to the side, but keep the dumbbells. You can sit them down just for a second. We're gonna get into that samurai again. So remember, feet need to be ultra, ultra wide. For this one, I'm gonna be holding the dumbbells under the chin. So up like this, right under the chin, and go into the samurai and switch. So just gliding from one side to the other without standing up in between. So focus on getting that straight leg. That's how you're gonna really get the inner thighs. And stay low. The weights makes it a lot harder. Good job, keep it up. Almost there. Remember, this is the last round. Okay, good. So I'm just gonna set the weights down for a second, grab a quick sip of water, and then we're gonna go into the sumo with the calf raises. So for this one, I'm gonna be holding the dumbbells down, just in between the legs, and then popping those heels. Okay, timer on, and go. Again, you can do this without the weights, just like I showed in, in the last round, and you'll still get really good results as long as you're really focused on your form and flexing those muscles. Try alternating sides. If you wanna switch it up a little bit, stay low. Remember, torso upright, don't round your back. Burning like crazy. <sighs> nice. Okay, set the dumbbells down for a second. We're gonna go into the side planks and I'm gonna push one dumbbell away and just use only one for this. Get that towel underneath your hand. You're gonna place this on top of your upper thigh. So in this plank position, you're gonna put it right about here. Okay, and of course this is optional. This move is already very hard as is, so don't add anything if you're struggling. But this is just one option for you to take it to the next level. Keep your core super tight. Try to press the knees together. Oh, you can also drop set it. If the weight's becoming too much, just drop it and finish without. Whew. That is crazy hard. <laughs> so try the other side. Get into your position. Remember, this is the last exercise. So that side plank. Get that top leg set. Bend to the bottom knee and go. Try and keep your plank very straight. If you notice your hips are way back behind you, press your hips to the front. 
Try and hold that dumbbell in place. Make sure you match this side with the same as you did on the other side. Okay, I'm gonna drop set it now. Just finish without the weight. Okay, good work. So that's it for this inner thigh toning workout. If you're more advanced, you could feel free to add a third round. This will help tone up your inner thighs, but make sure that you mix up your training, not just do the same workout all the time, but include a variety of exercises that are gonna help you reduce body fat all throughout your body. Make sure you're hitting all your major muscle groups and following a well-structured schedule. The total body program I'm following personally right now is called Formula for Women. And this is my 12 week total body transformation plan. So there are some moves included in there that target and tone the inner thighs, but the main goal of this program is to reduce your overall body fat percentage. And it's very effective at doing that because it targets major muscle groups using compound exercises and also progressive overload. So as the weeks go on, you keep getting stronger and fitter and in better shape. So I do hope that if you're interested in total body transformation and you wanna melt that trouble zone and any others that you're struggling with that you will get yourself on a full program, you're gonna have the best success with burning off trouble zones when you start focusing on your fitness as a whole and also your nutrition too. So I include nutrition in Formula for Women as well as all of our Live Lean TV programs. Check out the link in the description box below. We also have a whole store full of programs and eight of them are zero equipments and 15 of them are home friendly if you have a little bit of equipment. So check out those links in the description box below to find yourself a program to follow because this is gonna be game changing for you and there's so much you can do even with no gym access. So open up that description box right below this video, find that link, click it, go take the quiz and find the program that's best matched with you and what you have to work with because you can still do so much even if it's just your body and a little bit of space. Thanks for watching today's video. Like it, give it a thumbs up and a comment in the section below, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching and keep living lean.